Welcome to Tiny Glade. Tiny Glade 1.9 just dropped. Now buildings can have less depth and freeform, and broken walls can have flat tops, which makes things like arcading, arches, and stairs much easier. You probably already know that if you place one build inside another, you can remove the merlins or fencing on wall edges like this. But now you can make the top of freestanding walls flat. You can also do the same to builds broken with the erase tool. Use this erase tool to erase only parts of a building. Use this new tool in the color tools to make a wall top flat. This makes creating stairs so much easier than before. It also helps a lot when working with complex arcading or arches. You probably know you can hold the control key while placing to avoid snap, and that using the path tool creates either doors or arches. But now, with the new flattened tool, you have far more control over how your arches look, including freestanding arches which is very cool and will make some builds a lot easier to do. One final tip about floating objects. They seem to have changed a bit. Note the much thinner depth possible now too, by the way. To create a floating build, you need to place one inside the other. And they need to be very exactly aligned for the columns to vanish.
The main difference seems to be that if you adjust the bottom of either part, columns will reappear and no matter what you do, you can't get them to disappear again after adjusting. which means that you'll need to reapply a new second object after you've made any adjustments you need to make. So, just remember, it's still possible, but don't adjust the bottom. Um, that's all for now.